Hi guys, I'm Eleanor with Korea China and today we're going to look around at Hutong Apartment. So come inside and let's have a look. Hutongs are the old alleyways of cities in China and it's where a lot of local Chinese people will live. You'll find that the neighbourhoods are really safe because it is a bit more of a community. But when you're walking around hutongs, you may find that there are hutong bathrooms, hutong shower units, and therefore local people who maybe don't have a bathroom in their house. But if you're a foreigner, you usually won't get shown these ones. The house that we're looking at today is a renovated one, does have a bathroom, and is quite a standard hutong house that a foreigner may be shown when trying to find one in China. This is the kitchen. So you can see with a hutong apartment, sometimes they're a little bit on the smaller side, but usually in an apartment or a hutong house, you'll find either a hob or a hot plate to do your cooking. Uh, that's a standard in all apartments. Usually you won't find an oven in an apartment. These are something that you actually have to buy. In this apartment, someone's actually bought one, so that's good. They must like cooking. So this is the living area. As you can see that there's a fridge, there's a sofa, and also a TV. Now you'll find in most apartments or hutong houses that standard furniture, you will get a refrigerator, you will find a sofa, and you will get a TV. If you don't find this, then you can definitely ask your landlord or your agent. Okay, so let's have a little look into one of the bedrooms. Every bedroom will come with a bed, with a wardrobe as well. But if you're looking for more furniture, you may have to purchase it yourself or ask your landlord because most apartments or hutong houses will not come with anything in the bedroom apart from a bed and a wardrobe. You can see that this room is a fair size. Now when you're looking at the hutong houses, if you're looking for more than one bed, you might find one room is smaller than the other. So really know your criteria on what you want. Okay, so now we've had a look at the downstairs, let's go up the stairs and take a look what's upstairs. Let's go. Okay, so guys, now we're upstairs, we can take a look around. As you can see, the layout is very similar, and this is basically a second living area. So there's another sofa. You may not find two sofas in a lot of houses, but this one does have that. In all apartments or hutong houses, you can actually find a washing machine. If you don't find one, make sure to ask your landlord or your agent to get you one. Now, these people are really lucky because they also have a dryer, but in China, you won't find dryers in hutong houses or apartments. So if you do want one, you can buy one. Most people will actually hang out their washing inside on a drying rack. Don't worry, you'll definitely get a washing machine. And now let's look at the bathroom. The bathroom is about the same size as the kitchen was downstairs, so it is a smaller bathroom and it is classed as a wet room. What that is, when the shower is open, this one actually has a shower curtain and no glass door to seal it off. As you can see, this bathroom is quite small. Not all bathroom in Hutong houses are small, but they may be more so than what you'll find in an apartment. But you can see that the shower is nice and you've got a western toilet, so you don't need to worry about that. You won't find a squat toilet in the majority of houses that you'll be shown. When you are looking around a hutong house or an apartment, you'll find that not a lot of things will be there to make it feel cozy and warm. You may feel like it's a bit cold or there's only just a furniture, but that's up to you to make your house how you want it. You can actually buy things that you like when you're living in China and to make it that homey feel. This one is particularly on the larger side, so be aware that it may be a little bit more expensive than you were expecting. That's why it's always good to find a roommate, um, especially if it's a two bedroom one. So guys, thanks for joining us today. And don't forget to follow Korea China for more apartment videos like this and also what life is like in China. See you later.